Hey everyone, week three update of Miles for Triumph coming at you here. Uh, very excited about everything that happened the last few weeks with the program. So I have a lot to go over uh, for you. So first of all, I just want to start off by saying, um, what is this whole thing about? I want to just give you an overview if, you've, if you're new to learning about Miles for Triumph. So Miles for Triumph is our uh, two month long virtual activity and connection challenge that we're running through uh, through the April and May timeframe, just helping us get through you know the social isolation and all of the things that are, that are going on right now in the world. So, um, so people are logging their minutes and their miles, captains and angels, they're sharing posts, they're doing all these things. And um, it's just awesome, we're loving it. So there's so much engagement, so much involvement. It's our way of helping to try to deliver the mission of My Team Triumph in, uh, in this time of isolation. So people are doing a great job. You can still sign up. Um, you can still sign up on our website. It's myteamtriumph-wi.org and you can still be part of the challenge. So I encourage you to do that. We're going all the way through the end of May uh, and we've got a lot of weekly and sometimes multiple challenges that are happening within the challenge and uh, you guys can take advantage of that. Earn great badges, earn cool rewards, all that good stuff. So I encourage you to take part of the challenge. So a lot to go over today. So uh, the first thing I wanna talk about are some stats. Um, so really cool, uh, over the last uh, three weeks, so we've been going on three weeks. Um, let's take a guess of how many minutes and miles that collectively everyone in the program has done since the start. So uh, since, since the beginning of the program, people have put in 22,709 cycling miles, uh, 6,110 running miles, and 56,189 cross-training minutes across the 200 participants that we currently have in the program. Wow, how awesome is that, right? So, so many great stories, so many great, um, great memories that are coming out of it, and uh, we're just loving seeing everything happen. So, I um, wanna share as well some of the leaderboards that we have. So on the screen here, you're gonna see we have uh, four challenges. We have the regional cycling, running, and cross training. So the first challenge that we have is for the regional challenge, collecting the active minutes that come in through running and cycling. Um, so Northeast is in the lead by quite a bit. Uh, currently 66,000, almost 60, uh, 66,700 minutes, active minutes. Uh, North Central looking strong as well, but just behind at 30, almost 35,000 minutes. And the Fox Valley region in third place with 21,134 minutes, okay? So the regional challenge is going great. People are doing awesome. Let's go over the cycling challenge. So we've got a bit of a shift here. We had uh, Jordan Bergman join a little late to the program. He was, still run, he was still biking a lot uh, as we started uh, in April 1st, so we were able to get his data in. And currently, Jordan's in first place with 1,577 miles in just three weeks. Guy, that's unreal, right? This guy is nonstop biking. Uh, um, Corey Hilde, Casey Hildebrandt, sorry. Casey Hildebrandt is still up there in, uh, with 1,224 miles. And uh, I'm just over a thousand miles. I hit that hit that mark in third place. Um, but a lot of great numbers: uh, Angel Powell, Vince, uh, Mitch Vincent, Brooke Bosch, and June Matsky, all very close together in uh, fourth place there with just over 700 miles. From a running standpoint, um, social distance social distancing running is just killing it. That's the team. They've got 321 miles. Fast Eddie's Crusaders, 201 miles. Uh, and then Samantha just behind in 201 and Gary Brown at 189. So a lot of great miles. And from a cross training standpoint, let's take a look at that. Uh, Duck Tails out of North Central, 3,173 cross training minutes. Team Scream, Maddie and Angel, 3,070 minutes. And third place is a Jennifer Lemerand, 2,730 minutes 
so far, right? So awesome stats, awesome stories. Um, we had a couple of challenges over the last two weeks. Uh, the first one that we had was the, um, the make, we're gonna talk about the make life happen challenge here, okay? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So um, make life happen challenge. So this one was sponsored by Fox Communities Credit Union. And we have got a cool badge here that Carla put together. So um, Fox Communities Credit Union is our main sponsor for the program. And uh, everyone that donates and registers, pays for registration fee, 100% of that is matched by Fox Communities Credit Union. So first off, thank you Fox Communities Credit Union for stepping up to do that. So the challenge over the last week was for Captain Salog, three cross training workouts or three workouts in general. Um, and uh, post uh, photos and videos of them and tag Fox Communities Credit Union as well as My Team Triumph and Miles of Triumph and they would get entered to win uh, in the challenge, right? And so we had a lot of great, uh, a lot of great um, engagement in this. I wanna share with you some pictures and stories and stuff from this. Um, we had people post a, a ton of great photos I just want to make sure that we are going to do this. So we're going to give away three gift cards today, uh, an Amazon, a Panera, and a Subway card to all the captains that did this challenge. But I want to pull up my iPad here and show you guys some of the, uh, uh, show you guys some of the photos and videos and stuff. I'm going to turn this around so hopefully you can see it. Um, so, so we had uh, a bunch of great uh, engagement in the challenge. So. Here's Gavin going for a bike ride, right? He did a great job. Autumn was doing the jump around challenge. Uh, Kayla was working out a lot. She did a lot of biking here. She was doing uh, some yard work. Uh, Captain Eddie, good old fast Eddie, is um, went for a great run. Uh, Captain Jacob did a lot of biking over the course of of the challenge here. Um, uh, Team Dino here is uh, doing doing some doing some steps. Michaela was doing some cross training in her yard. Um, Raven was doing some walking on the treadmill. Tom, hand bike. Jana using uh, the hand bike as leg bike and doing Pilates. A lot of great stuff. Uh, some more photos from Team Dino doing some PT and reading. Uh, Kayla talking about her biking that she was doing. Um, and uh, awesome, so you could just see here, Lucas was jumping on the trampoline, another one from Gavin. So, so many great photos and videos from our captains really getting active over the course of the challenge. So we're gonna choose three winners, uh, again, to take home gift cards um, and uh, I've got a really cool uh, random name picker uh, we're going to use here. So our wheel spinner here, check this out, right? Going high tech at Miles, <laughs> Miles for Triumph. So we're going to click. Uh, this is totally random, right? Totally random. Um, so we're going to do uh, choose uh, everyone that we saw submitted uh, photos and videos. Their name is on the wheel. And we're going to spin the wheel three times. And if you're chosen, then you'll get taken off the wheel so that other people can win. But we're gonna choose three people, ready? Okay, so here we go. Um, first one's coming up, spinning the wheel. And the first winner of the gift card is, woo, Jacob, Captain Jacob, winning the first gift card, awesome. The second winner coming up. Wow, we're gonna turn the volume down on that. That's crazy. Uh, second winner is Michaela. Woo! We got quite a crowd here today. Quite a crowd. And the third gift card is going to Captain Lucas. Woo! Awesome job, all right. So we'll send those gift cards off to you guys. Again, huge thanks to Fox Communities Credit Union for sponsoring the Make Life Happen Challenge. Um, and we're really excited about that. Okay, so um, 
let's move on to the next challenge that we had and that was the keeping it squatchy challenge right so what this was all about is for cyclists to go out this weekend and do a bike ride and log uh, a thousand feet of climbing in a single bike ride um, again um, the winner of this is going to get a gift card from broken spoke bikes here in green bay they're still open um, and they are still serving people. They, they are doing a lot of great service. You can do an appointment, uh, but they're also uh, selling bikes. They've got a great sale going on right now. So you can check them out, Broken Spoke Bikes. Um, again, I have some photos that I wanna share with you of some of the cyclists going out and doing their workouts this weekend. Um, so Sean Pitts was hitting the trails here and uh, literally hitting the trails, right? Falling off his bike. Uh, Dave Campshire got his WIFT workout in. Uh, Dave Konchak also hitting the trails, getting his climbing in. Uh, Annie Jensen, my sister, out in Denver, Colorado, riding on Zwift. Angel Powell did a lot of Zwift miles again this weekend, also uh, getting 1,000 feet. Alan Phillips on Zwift. Who doesn't love Zwift? Zwift is great, right? Um, Jody getting her miles uh, and and feet on on Zwift. Tanya uh, going out for an outdoor ride uh, with uh, Dave. Jeremy getting his on Zwift, keeping it squatchy, right? Mitch Vincent went outside, got his. Um, yeah, so um, a lot of great workouts. Those are just a handful that we found, and so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do our wheel spinner here. This time we're gonna, we've got all the names on the list. We can see them here, going to full screen. We're gonna pick, uh, pick one name this time. So this is a one time winner for the Broken Spoke Bikes uh, gift card for the Keeping It Squatchy Challenge, right? So this was just a flash challenge that we did and um, one $50 gift card coming to someone right now. Here we go. Here we go. And it's gonna be right on the line there. Dave Campshire winning the $50 gift card to Broken Spoke Bikes. Uh, what happened to the cheering? I didn't have any cheering on that one, huh? Um, so anyway, great job, Dave. Uh, great job, everyone, for all of the challenges that uh, you guys are part of. Really appreciate it. Um, let's talk next about what's happening um, coming up because we've got a lot of really fun challenges that we're gonna do. The first one I wanna to talk to you about is uh, called the Like a Ross Challenge, okay? Like a Ross, okay? Uh, this one is um, sponsored by Next Level Endurance. So Dave Konchak on our team is also an endurance coach and uh, he's uh, put this challenge together, so Like a Ross. Um, and what you see on the screen, so we got, you're gonna get the great Like a Ross badge, Next Level Endurance uh, sponsoring it. Um, so here's the challenge. Over the next week, what you have to do is go out and do a run of any distance and put together some run art, right? So uh, we have some examples here of like the MTT star or the runner pusher guy. Um, doesn't matter what you do, um, you know, do something fun, put together some run art. So basically you log a, a run with your, with your watch you know, like on Strava or something like that, and it gives you a GPS image of your track. And then you take a screenshot of that, and then you gotta post that, uh, you gotta tag Dave Konchak, and use the hashtag like a Ross in the post, and uh, you are going to get entered to win a uh, $150 gift card to uh, Next Level Endurance to be used for your training. Like if you're training for a marathon or an ultra marathon, whatever it is, He's gonna coach you virtually uh, at a distance, right? Uh, for for your next race. So that's the uh, that's the like a Ross challenge here. <laughs> loving it, right? Loving the loving the badges. Okay, so again, that's going from today, April 22nd, all the way through April 29th. Uh, so one week. Um, post a screenshot of your art. Tag Dave Conchat. Ta uh, hashtag like a Ross in your post. Okay. So that's, that's the first one. Um, the next one that we have is, um, let me come over here. Um, I don't have a badge yet for it, 
but it's the power up challenge. So this is really great because, um, uh, because it really, it really uh, can be a number of things um, that you do, uh, but you are challenged to do two workouts in the course of the week on Saturday, right? So Saturday, you gotta do two workouts and any two workouts, any duration, any distance, doesn't matter, but we're gonna give a power up to you. If you complete the challenge, you log it, we're gonna give you 100 bonus minutes, active bonus minutes for your region. It'll count toward the regional challenge, right? So, so 100 bonus minutes will go on your, uh, on your page, we'll go in, we'll manually add that for you. Um, and so it's a bo it's a power up, right? It's just like Mario World, right? When you <laughs> you're hitting Mario and you got that, you know, right? So we're gonna create a cool badge for it, right? So so that's the um, that's the next one here. Um, that's this weekend. So um, and then there's a couple coming up I want to tell you about. So um, we are going to be bringing uh, a new challenge for the for the month of May in which we're gonna be encouraging other chapters to participate in uh, Miles for Triumph. So we're gonna have a chapter challenge, right? And as part of that, we are going to um, be encouraging folks to run a, a marathon over the course of the first 26 days in May, right? So if you're in Wisconsin, you know that uh, the quarantine has now been extended or the stay at home has now been extended to May 26th. So we thought, all right, let's do a streak challenge. So here's how it works. You gotta run a mile a day, every day. So one mile, just one mile, you don't have to go further, but you gotta do at least one mile every day uh, for the first, for 26 days, and then the last day or one of the days, do an extra 0.2 to accumulate 26.2 miles over the course of the month, right? And, um, and, and for that, you are going to be entered to win. We're gonna do uh, three winners uh, to get a Starbucks or an Amazon gift card for that. So if you complete the challenge, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll draw uh, three winners for that one. Um, and um, uh, I'm sorry, Festival, Panera, and Subway gift card for that one. Um, but we need your help with the name for the challenge. Um, we were talking earlier about what would we call this? And, you know, we were like, should we call it like the quarantine marathon? We're like, eh, maybe that's not, that's not a good choice. Um, should we call it the bubble boy <laughs> marathon, right? You know, so um, by the way, did you know that a guy was trying to run from Florida to Bermuda in a floating bubble? and he got stopped by the Coast Guard. <laughs> we have a lot of time on our hands, right? So um, so that's gonna be coming up starting May 1st, so we got a little bit of time for that. Um, on May 5th is a very special, we're calling it the MTT Means Challenge, right? So it's a one-day challenge, and we'll remind you of this later, uh, but it's a one-day challenge in which we're inviting you, not gonna work out, this is for anyone, uh, we're challenging you to create a very short MTT means video. It could be on your phone. It could. You, all you have to do is say MTT means inclusion or adventure or friendships or um, you know great connections or always hitting the finish line. You know something short. It can be 10 seconds long or short, right? Um, so post that video, and then we're going to create uh, some text for you to copy and paste to make it easy for you. Uh, but um, but for that one, we'll have three winners, Starbucks and Amazon gift cards. Part of this challenge on May 5th, the MTT means um, uh, May 5th, is uh, we're encouraging folks to donate towards the Miles for Triumph Challenge. May 5th represents a new Giving Tuesday, a global Giving Tuesday campaign that's happening all over the world, right? And this has come up in response to uh, the coronavirus and just trying to help nonprofit organizations who are struggling this time to raise money. So what's great about it is um, as part of your post, we're going to ask you to include the link to donate um, and ask you to help raise some funds for us. Um, and what's awesome about this again is every dollar is matched 100% by Fox Communities Credit Union and our other sponsors, Gary Lofquist and Aon, our other financial sponsors for this. So all you gotta do is post, 
post a link, encourage people to give dollar for dollar match one day only. That's coming up on May 5th, the MTT means challenge, right? Okay, we've got a lot to go, a lot going on here, guys. Uh, keep up the great work. Again, challenges this week, you got two. You got the Like a Ross challenge where you're gonna create your, your run art and uh, post that photo, tag Dave, Can Dave Konchak and uh, hashtag Like a Ross and you'll get this great badge and uh, enter to win a $150 gift card from Next Level Endurance. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Next Level Endurance for stepping up on that. Uh, and then the second one is the Power Up Challenge. Uh, this weekend, one day only, get two workouts, any distance, any type, any duration. You get 100 bonus active minutes on your account for getting those two workouts on Saturday. This coming Saturday, got to do them both on on that day got to record separate separate workouts on the day so so much going on guys uh if you're not part of the program I encourage you to get involved my team triumph wi.org you can still sign up we're going all the way through the end of may and uh let's really grow this thing uh let's really get active um stay positive guys you know i know that uh here in wisconsin uh we got the news that we're uh staying in until the end of may um you know, who knows? But uh, I know that it's affecting us all. And uh, I am just so grateful for all of you that we can be together in this challenge and encourage each other and, and be supportive. So keep being active, keep those posts up. Um, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can get involved. Obviously, you don't have to be the winner in all the challenges to, to win. This is why we have these flash challenges, these ongoing things. And we've got so many more that I haven't told you about that we're gonna to continue to roll out like around yoga and other cross training things, um, really fun stuff. So we really hope you guys are having a great time with the program. Thanks for being involved and uh, join us if you haven't yet. Um, and thank you all for your support. Wishing everyone uh, safety and good health. Take care.